Hey, this is Liz, and you're listening to the South CAC Syndicate Podcast. Then why do people still spend millions and millions of dollars advertising in, in print, radio, and billboard? It's a great question. It's a great question. I think a lot of it's old school. Definitely. Like, people don't realize... People don't realize when they click an ad on Instagram that the person who put that on ad on there gets can basically get all the information of that person. Not individually, but as a group. And so, when you're starting a business and you're not that keen on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube or, or just digital advertising in general, that's not going to be your first thing to think about, right? You're going to go, you're going to think about newspaper, radio, whatever. And then you have these folks that are knocking doors selling you on that kind of stuff too. That's oh, right. I hear it all the time on the radio. Uh, the radio will post ads trying to get you to advertise on the radio and it says, we have more listeners mm-hmm. Via whoever, mm-hmm. whatever. And I'm like, yeah, but people don't understand is 90% of those people don't care about your product because they're putting it out there to everybody. Mm-hmm. So you're spending, so even if it's cheaper, we'll just make it round numbers. Say uh, to advertise in your area on the radio, it costs you a hundred bucks for your business for whatever. And say only 10% of that is actual potential customers, which means you're paying 10X, really. You should be paying a thousand for that You'd be paying $1,000 for that 10% because the rest of it's going to waste. Versus on digital, you can actually target your customer for 100 bucks, and you get 100% of your customers versus only getting 10%. You get 100% of interest. may not result in sales or bookings, but you get 100% of the demographic that is interested in your product. It's your target demographic.